Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to E46 channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to bleed uh, your brakes in the sequence where you start and uh, how you do it on the BMW E46 330XI. So I'm gonna uh, use three different methods. One is uh, using two people, one in the car pumping and holding the brake pedal and the other one uh, unbolting, unscrewing the bleeder and then taking the air out and two is gonna be uh, one person and I'm gonna show you how just by using a uh, bottle, a water bottle. Uh, third one is, is gonna be using the uh, vacuum pump which uh, not everyone has at home. Uh, we're gonna need a uh, breaker bar to get the bolts loose and take the wheel off because the process is easier that way we're gonna need the uh, torque wrench for at the end of the process to uh, torque uh, spec the wheels uh, since my uh, bleeder valves are old i have replaced one of them since uh, got broken it snapped uh, right in but anyways since i'm gonna be doing this process i'm gonna replace uh, all of them with new ones when using the uh, the vacuum pump is better you use some uh, teflon to not uh, introduce air in the system since uh, it's going to be just one person and you want there to be vacuum tight uh, vice grips for <laughs> the simple reason that my uh, bleeder valves are rusted and some brake fluid because since we're gonna bleed them we're gonna lose some you're gonna have to put some uh, brake fluid in your container here or either on the bottle there so you don't introduce air in the system I'm gonna show you how and when you use that okay and let's get into it we want to put some uh, Teflon on the new bleeder valves uh, you want to put about two or three uh, rotation of Teflon or threads so that's gonna help to not introduce air. Okay, just like that. Break the bolts free, loose before we jack the car up. And you start from the rear right. That's the sequence. Jack the car up. First make sure that the reservoir is filled up so you don't introduce any air in the system and make sure you don't spill any fluid anywhere because it's very bad for the paint, metals, everything and here you can see mine is full if it's not make sure it you fill it up before, before you start the process because if you introduce air to the system it is very bad and there is nothing you can do but take it to the BMW dealership so they have to so they deal with the ABS system okay that is loose the sensor out of the way there take the dust shield of the old one put it on the new one and don't forget to put some uh, teflon it helps the process especially when you are uh, alone using the vacuum pump okay Uh, the bleeder valves for my car are M8125 Okay, now that it's tight Okay, pump I need to pump four or five times, six times till the pedal becomes hard 
and once the person inside the car says that it's good then you go ahead and release the pressure good okay uh, hold the brake pedal please and then while they hold it you loosen this one tighten it back okay pump good okay hold it and then there okay pump good hold it okay so that should be enough for the for this one make sure you clean the brake flu fluid that spilled on your uh, caliper and everywhere else because it's very bad for your paint so make sure you clean it real good okay tuck the sensor back in like it was on the dust shield okay now that is good we don't see any leak or anything coming from there and there is my old one okay take the wheel the jack off tighten the bolts to 98 foot per pound and the first wheel is done it is the same uh, process the next wheel after the rear right is the rear left break the bolts loose jack the car up take the bolts off remove the wheel and for safety measurements we'll put the wheel under the car before you put the new one in make sure you put the new dust cap the dust cap on the new uh, bleeder valve and then tighten it okay Good. that's tight now the new method is gonna be with a water bottle the second method uh, so I'm gonna show you how to do this we'll use the water bottle uh, we're gonna put some old fluid here okay there be quick do not spill any fluid I'll put some more That should be enough make sure you top up the reservoir with new fluid okay that's full okay so for this method we only need a, a small water bottle and uh, a tube a clear tube so you could see what's uh, going on okay i'll use this side there make sure it goes all the way to the bottom so you don't suck air back in since you're gonna be alone there is no way you can see if you are introducing air to the system 
and you could use the lid for the bottle here and make a hole so you could uh, slide the uh, tube in but I'm just going to be using a uh, tape electric tape here just to hold there is no other reason for the tape or for the lid other than holding the uh, tube in place so the tube doesn't slide out of the brake fluid so there sure it's all the way to the end which this one is it's good and just like that so now for the air that we're gonna need after sucking fluid we're gonna make a hole at the end here there and so the tube now is in place, it doesn't move, it's all the way to the end, you can see the end of it. Okay, it's all set up. Now we'll loosen the leader valve, a quarter turn, now we see. Now the reason why we used the Teflon in the first place was to not introduce air right now here. So you're gonna see the fluid is right there, it's gonna move that way once I start bleeding the brakes, like pushing the brake pedal the fluid is gonna go that way probably go a little bit back when the pedal comes back but at the end you're gonna see that it's just gonna keep going and there is no way uh, we get air this way in the uh, in the system and it's a pretty good method for being alone for just one person so I'll show you right now how what you expect to see here And as you guys can see, my uh, brake fluid is pretty clean and it is because uh, I flushed the, the system like a month ago because it was pretty dirty and if the brake fluid changes color, you know that it's time to change it because <clears throat> it is bad, it doesn't uh, function properly and anyway, so if you want to go ahead and flush your uh, brakes, it is the same procedure just that you're gonna keep uh, adding more fluid in your uh, reservoir because you're gonna lose more as you're flushing it but the uh, bleeding system process is the same the rear right and then rear left and then uh, front uh, right and front left okay so it's time to tighten now you guys see I'd say I would rather prefer this method so for one person it's a pretty good method there put the dust cup back in Make sure you wipe any fluid might be on your brake uh, caliper. Okay, and we are done for this one too. So we'll put the wheel back in. Okay, that's tight. So now we'll make ready the vacuum pump. So this is the setup you want. You want the short hose here and then the reservoir, the long hose. But I'll show you what's inside. There, you want another short hose and you want this kind of lead on the vacuum pump. Help. Okay, now. Okay, so I'll apply about 20 AG. 
and now I'll loosen the jitter valve. I'm still getting some air from this connection here. We are at 25 G. Probably loosen it a bit more. No. Okay, there's no air anymore coming out other than when I move the hose. Okay, that's good. Now, that was the last method. Make sure. You fill up the reservoir every time you move to the next wheel. And my favorite method from all is having someone in the car to push the pedal because that way you see what's going on, if it needs more or if it doesn't or... Okay, pump, please. Good? Hold. Okay, pump. Good, hold it. Okay, pump. Okay, hold it. Pump. Hold it. Okay, and that should be enough for this side too, for the driver's side, which is the last one. Don't forget to put the dust cap on, wipe the place there. So there is no brake fluid on the paint. Okay, last thing to do is fill up your reservoir after you are done to the max level. Okay. Tighten the cup again, wipe any brake fluid and we are done again guys thank you for watching the video if you find it helpful please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing for more videos to come i'll see you on the next one until then have a good time